In this video, I want to talk about three ways that your baby, your child's thumb sucking habit, the use of a dummy can potentially affect their bite. common for babies, for children to have that urge to suck and um, to you know have a dummy for this or to pick up their, their thumb and start sucking on that. And it's been found that you know one in eight um, children between the age of seven to 11 um, actually um, suck on their thumb. So it's a very common thing. Now in most cases, thumb sucking or the use of a dummy would have stopped by the age of six. Now, this is actually a convenient time for it to have stopped because around the age of, between the age of six and seven, you start to get the first adult teeth coming through. Now, if the thumb sucking and the use of dummies is continued in this period of time, it now starts to affect the adult teeth. Whether it affects your child, it depends on a few things. It's how often are they um, sucking on their thumb or using the dummy? How hard um, are they applying force to, to, to their teeth when they're doing this? And up to what age are they doing this until? And if it's for a prolonged time, six hours or more, uh, they're doing it um, into their, you know, six years of age, seven years of age, eight years of age, then you're likely to start seeing issues in terms of their bite. A common issue that happens um, with children that are thumb sucking or using a dummy um, up to the age of six, seven, eight, is that their teeth don't meet together, their top and bottom teeth. There's a space between their top and bottom teeth that don't quite come together, there's that space. And we call that space an anterior open bite. It can make it difficult um, to eat foods um, and it can start to cause an issue with the bite. Because of the physical barrier, the dummy or the thumb sucking, you might also find that the teeth start to flare out. They start to protrude out. Um, and this can also be an issue um, in the future for the child. Another thing that can happen is that it can cause the upper jaw to narrow. Now, when this happens, it makes it even more likely that you'll get a crossbite at the back, at the back teeth, with the back teeth. Um, and again, this can cause issues with the bite um, later on in the future. So the key thing here is to make sure that uh, the thumb sucking habit, the use of the dummy, um, is, has stopped by the age of six. Now, if it's stopped by the age of six, this ties in quite well uh, with the age at which adult teeth start to come through. Um, so if it stops by the age of six, it means that the adult teeth won't be affected. Um, and it means that your baby's bite, your child's bite can self-correct uh, with the adult teeth without any additional treatment needed. Um, so that's a good thing about stopping before the age of six. Now the baby teeth might have been affected, uh, but as long as it stops, the, the habit stops before the age of six, the body can self-correct and the bite with the adult teeth um, is less likely to be affected. Now, if this habit continues beyond the age of seven, it makes it even harder for the body to self-correct, for the bite to self-correct. So this is where an orthodontist um, would then be able to help or a dentist who covers orthodontic treatment. Braces may be something to now um, consider, but even then, braces can't really begin until the habit has stopped because if braces begin and the habit is still going on, then the treatment is not gonna be effective. The treatment is not going to work as well. Um, so the habit needs to stop first. Now looking at the two, uh, dummies or thumb sucking, dummies is the lesser of the two evils. And that's because, you know, with dummies, you know, as children are growing, um, they're less likely to want to hold on to a dummy, uh, especially as they start mingling and interacting with other kids. Whereas with thumb sucking, um, that can continue and it's hard to remove a thumb. You're not gonna be removing a child's thumb, but a dummy can be removed. So 
Uh, with the dummy, there's more control. You're able to take that away um, and remove it from the child's life. So um, if you were to choose one, thumb sucking or a dummy habit, dummy habit is the lesser of two evils. You can remove that dummy uh, before it starts to affect the child's teeth. Just make sure um, never to sweeten the dummy because if you're sweetening the dummy, it's gonna cause another issue of tooth decay um, in the child's teeth, uh, especially in the child's, uh, as the child is getting their first adult teeth, you really don't want tooth decay to be affecting those because they're gonna need those for their lifetime. Uh, so avoid sweetening the dummy. Let me know in the comments section um, if maybe you had a thumb sucking habit or a dummy habit, how did you stop? If you're a parent, um, how did you stop your child um, with, these, with this habit or do they just stop themselves? It'd be interesting to find out in the comment section how you dealt with it. Uh, Cause I'm sure different uh, families, different um, ways that they utilize to try and stop this habit. I'll see you guys at the next video.